Hello and welcome back to Clan Jin featuring Redwood Clan. This will be episode 10. So we're finally reached the double digits, which is which is pretty cool. I didn't expect the series to last this long and for people to be that interested, but it's nice, thank you. But to recap the last episode, we have Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh man, oh I didn't mean to reset the generation of the cats. Oh. Okay, whatever. We have Sunpa as our Star Clown selected Medicine Cat Apprentice. Last episode. They were selected last episode. Um, Deer Dusk down here and his brother Cloud Swan over here are now warriors. So that makes it the first kits in the clan. Well, no. Never mind. So Deer Dusk and Cloud Swan are now warriors. We get to see them in their awesome adult sprites now. Looks like they're chilling around the clan. I think this is Icy Paw and Green Paw chatting in the apprentices den. And Rain Rain Paw is chatting with Acorn Strike over here, it looks like. But yeah, um, Last episode was pretty calm, other than Antler Clan's deputy kind of visiting for a second, which had Sand Breeze a little bit suspicious because of, you know. But, um, I, we're kind of keeping an eye on um, Acorn Strike a little bit again just because, just because it looks like some cats are getting hopeful about seeing Sand Breeze become the leader now. So I don't know how he feels about that or what he's gonna do next, so... I don't remember seeing this, did I? I don't remember skipping to the next moon, I guess I did it off camera and I just don't remember. That's what I get for not writing down what I do. But it looks like Doosong tried to convince Cloud Swan to run away with them? What are her feelings on Cloud Swan? She just, well, she doesn't even, she kind of likes Cloud Swan, but, um, but she has a little bit of dislike for him. Why would she want to run away with him? Because I'm, I'm, I'm not really going to interpret that as that, as romantic. It's not a strictly romantic prompt, but I wonder why, and I'm wondering if it has something to do with how Cloud Swan and Deer Dusk's sister, um, Cedar Hope, um, passed away, and how there was a little bit of suspicion around her death. But I'll see. I won't say too much of what I'm thinking because it's kind of jumping, jumping to conclusions. But I'm thinking it. But yeah, I'll we'll have to. But yeah. Bright Shade has healed, Grey no longer has White Coffin, Rodeo has a headache. Let's check relationships. Sand Breeze um, isn't getting along with Rainpaw. Looks like some of the Dukes and Duchesses, they're getting into some arguments with the older cats. King Ikonshrike had a disagreement with Princess Snow Heather over kits. I think we've gotten that before, like, they've kind of been arguing around about kids. I don't know who wants more and who wants none. Or different ways of raising, I don't know. Yeah, no one's really getting along with the apprentices right now. Grain lift the gift and soft's nest for them to find. Are they gonna be a thing? Possibly? And Fern and Paul heard an ugly rumor about their own mom. It's kind of weird. Would he, like... Is he like believing it or is he offended that that kind of rumor is spreading? Mochi Shade will spend the entire day with lamp pounds if they could? Hmm? Okay, let me check in on Grain and Soft. Yeah, they kind of have a little bit of a thing. Just a little bit. 
Let's see the thoughts. Echo Shrike saw a big scary dog today. Sandbury saw Sunpaw almost use the wrong herbs. That's kind of... Well, Sunpaw's an apprentice, so they're gonna get some stuff wrong. Uh, let's see. Sunpaw wishes the other apprentices could understand how they feel. I wonder if that is stemming from Sunpaw being selected by Star Clan to be a medicine cat and not being their own personal choice. Bright Shade is wondering if they are good enough. I'm sure you are, Bright Shade. Still here there wants to take a nap. Line Pounce, what are you sick? Oh, you have green cough. Dear Dusk is feeling underappreciated. What are your relationships like? Nothing, no, really. Burn pause supposed to graduate this moon? Apparently. Crow pause getting into trouble. And green pause feeling cramped in the apprentices then with all these, with all of her siblings. Cloud Rice wants to visit Duke Ice Paw in a dream soon. And Cedar Hope has seen Princess Snow Heather's future demise. It's creepy. What was it, Ice Paw? Okay, we'll keep an eye on that. Jade Smoke's feeling regret for his actions. Alright. Okay, who wants to go with who? Mochi Shade is wondering how Duchess Crowpaw is doing. So I'll send Mochi Shade with Crowpaw. Just so they could chat a little bit. Out in the forest, Mochi Shade asks Duchess Crowpaw if they know why Redwood Clan chose to live in the woods under the canopy rather than any other environment. I wonder if he's just curious about the history of Redwood Clan. Mochishe shows Kropo how the trees protect from wind and rain, how, like their ancestors have done for generations. Yeah, he wouldn't know that, but we'll just say it was the other way around that Kropo was showing him that stuff. Um, and Cloud Swan is giving some advice to Sun Paul, so I'll send them together. Cloud Swan, I Sun Paul's the younger cat approaches. He does not want to go on that patrol. And they spent the entire patrol refusing to do anything useful. Yeah, I guess he really didn't want to give them advice. Someone else was thinking, yeah, soft and ice paw. Let's go. And they had a good time together. Actually, I'm looking back, I guess the advice Cloud Swan could have been giving to some is how how he he's there for them, I guess? Because they're thinking that other penises don't understand how we feel, but so, like, Cloud Swan is giving them advice that that it's alright. I'm not sure what kind of advice he could give, because he's not like a apprentice specifically chosen by Starcon to be a medicine cat. But We'll say he's trying his best, but it didn't go very well on their solo patrol. Or their 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 small patrol, yeah. I'll send everyone else together. And they find a fox. Um, I think they would go for it. We have some fighters. And it's a big patrol. However, with so many cats to protect each other, there were no injuries, okay. And I'll... Uh, how about I just said I can strike and still have together? Your patrol finds a kitty pit who is interested in joining the clan. They banter with the cat a bit, feeling, making them feel more welcome. Um, I want to say... Um, do not proceed just because... Echo Strike is... Has his lonesome trait now, 
I think he wouldn't like how crowded the crowd has been getting. And I feel like it would be in Snow Heather's nature to be a little bit impulsive when she's talking to other cats and kind of like scare them off a little bit unintentionally. Nelson and them together. And then do song. So you know. That was a smooth moon. Now I can go ahead and skip to the next moon. Lion Pals is no longer coughing and sputtering. Their case of green cough is now cured. Cloud Swan has cut in a running nose. Fernpaw's mangled tail has healed, but the injury left them scarred. Surprise. That's uh, That'll be cool. We'll see the scar in a second. Actually, right now. Yeah! So Soft has- I mean, no, not Soft. Fernpaw has a cool new tail scar. And they look pretty cool as an adult. Hopefully they get to graduate soon, though. Sam Breeze is getting along with Bright Shade, that's good. And Dewsong is also happy to run into Soft. Soft heard a rumor that Princess Sam Breeze likes someone else? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure where to take these small relationships and crushes that are kind of popping out here and there. Mochi Shade noticed that Fernpaw is falling behind in training and offered to catch them up yeah, because they've been sick or mean injured. Rainpaw and Crowpaw swap secrets with each other, that's cute. Alright. So yeah. Taking a look, it looks like Deer Dusk is having a chat with Acor Shrike up at the leader's den. And Sandbreeze is chatting with Crowpaw and Rainpaw. Uh, Sunpaw is spending some alone time in the elder's den. Yeah. I like checking in on the camp every now and then. But, uh, yeah. Ekoshig is wondering if Fernpaw should be chosen for the next gathering. We'll see. Dusong is telling ancient tales about Star Clan, probably to Mochi Shade, so he can get to know more about clan history. Sunpaw is giving advice to Grain. Snowhiller is giving advice to Icepaw. Mochi Shade works twice as hard to prove their worth to the clanborn cats. Oh, that's interesting. So Mochi Shade, I guess, even though we Im kind of imagined him as being like a very distant and cold cat, when he originally joined the clan, it looks like he is really getting into this warrior thing. So that's interesting. Despite his fancy kitty pit lifestyle, he's trying to prove his worth. That's cool. Maybe he'd get along with Soft, maybe. I don't know. Or Snow Heather, definitely, at least. Fernpaw is chastising fellow apprentices. Rainpaw's playing a prank. Icepaw is still getting along with Soft, that's nice. Let me see your relationship with Soft. Well, it's nothing much, really, but. We can pretend. Ice squid. Um, Bog Rice has been following the growth of Fernpaw. The net, the the heir of the king. That's nice, I guess. Jade Smoke wishes they could destroy the clan that wronged them, which would be Redwood Clan, and that's not good. I feel like he's already done enough of that. It looks like Deer Dusk and Fernpaw don't really get along too much. I 
think I remember them having a little bit of a argument before when they went on patrol. I'm not sure about what specifically, but it kind of looks like they're butting heads a bit. Doesn't like Doosong or Cropop? I wonder why they don't like Doosong. Because it's not like Doosong's like bad or mean or anything. But it looks like they have a little bit of dislike for a lot of cats. Meanwhile, Crowpaw loves every single one of her siblings, but not Fernpaw very much. Okay, I'm gonna send... I will send a Crowstrike and Fernpaw together. Maybe they can talk out, like, manners at the gathering and what you would do when you're the... the heir of the king and you haven't graduated yet. Your patrol captures a clearing with a lot of two-leg zinger. They probably would not go into this clearing because Fernpaw would not be about that business about messing with two legs and Econ Strike just is not a social guy. Sunpaw was chatting with the grain. I can send them together. Grain there. Okay, Grain is also a little bit like not a big fan of Hanging out with apprentices. Yeah, Sunpaw is not having a good time. They can't get anything done. That sucks. And then we can send Snow Heather and Ice Paw. Snow Heather. Ice Paw. And Snow Heather is also quizzing Ice Paw. And Duke, Ice Paul launches into a speech about how Redwood Clan is awesome because they aren't kitty pits. Only for Princess Snow Heather to stop them because she is a kitty pit. Or she was. That's awkward. I wonder what soft is they dreaming about. I'll send Lime White Who? Rodeo and Mochishi. Yeah, Rodium, Mochi Shade, and Green Paw. Because they were, they were all kind of thinking of each other. Mochi Shade sees two kits from Antler Clan playing close to the border. We have Lonesome, Rebellious, and Cold. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know if he's like the... Well, he's trying to prove his worth. Right in the clan, and it would be a very good thing to. I don't know. I don't think it would be any, you know, in anyone's best interest to leave the kids behind. I I want to proceed. Mochi Shade wouldn't be able to forgive themselves if something bad happened to those kids. They ordered the patrol other than Rodeo to go back to camp, and they get along with Antler Clan. That's good. That would make sense because they, Rodeo and Mochi Shade aren't originally from Redwood Clan, so they don't know the beef we have with them very much. So they'd be more welcoming, I guess, towards Atma Clan. Uh, maybe Acorn Strike would be a little bit nervous about interacting with Atma Clan, and Sandbreeze would be very also nervous that they did that without waiting for them. So that's interesting. And Ice Paws learning from... Oh, Ice Paw. I sent them on patrol. I'll just randomize at this point. You... Right here. Duke Greenpaw calls the patrol to them, explaining their plan and abandoned two lake nest has been spotted on the territory by the border patrol brimming with rats. It would be the perfect place for some new leaf hunting. Sure, we have fighting, fierce, childish, and troublesome. It's gonna take a few trips to get all these rats home. Okay. Cool. Take out a bunch of food for the clan. And I want to send Line Pounce and do some together because just because I feel like they haven't been able to spend time on their friendship very much recently. 
As two song passed through the Redwood Clan territory with their entourage, they feel presence join them. Two song softly alerts the rest of the patrol of their visitor. I wonder who that would be. Moonclaw, maybe? Because none of the other cats are thinking of. None of the other cats are thinking of chatting with Redwood Clan. Now send these three together. Let me go ahead and skip to the next moon. King Akonshrike rests their muzzle on Air Fern Stripe's head and declares them to be a full warrior Redwood Clan, honoring their fortitude. Akonshrike has been following the progress of two crane proper moons and feels it is finally time for them to get their warrior name. They are granted the, Duke, the name Duke Rain Thicket in honor of their compassion. Rain Thicket was then caught sharing prey with the rogue. Sunpaw believes they are part of a new prophecy. Wow. That's some good stuff. Interesting. So Rain Thicket, which I'll probably name to honor the things they've done as an apprentice. Was caught sharing prey with the rogue. I'll have to see what. Well, actually, let me go see right now what. Well, he's still childish. But he has a lot of compassion. I'll name him Rain Puddle. Be Puddle? Because. Childish cats will play in puddles, and also because they are a wholesome thing. I feel like it would match his compassionate childish energy. So yeah, Grain influenced him to be more likely to be slow to anger and refrain from socializing. And Grain helped them become better at bearing, caring for kittens. So now we have Rain Puddle. And let me check on Fern Stripe. I'll rename them... Fern Frost. Because Fern Frost has that strict quality. It makes me think they're a little bit icy and maybe a bit cold. But not like in a bad way, just kind of like a, a chilly morning kind of way. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I'm thinking in my brain. And it sounds cool. So now we have Fern Frost and Rain Puddle. It's interesting how Rain Puddle, the childish cat, graduated before Wise Ice Paw did. Or literally, like, without any of the other siblings graduating with him. But yeah, Fern Frost is all grown up. Let's see, Sun Paul wants to make King Acorn Strike proud. That's really interesting with this whole prophecy thing. I want to see what they're gonna take this. And I wonder if they'll tell um Dusan. I almost forgot her name. Acorn Strike got Cloud Swan in trouble. I'm keeping a big eye on Acorn Strike and Cloud Swan relationships. Muchishir is getting along with Dusan. And Dusan immediately thinks of soft when the topic of mates is brought up. Bright Shade is amused at how Moji Shade manages to look so grumpy all the time. That's an interesting thought bubble. Dusan was just eavesdropping. Yeah, Sunpaw wants to make Eggstrike proud. I'm keeping an eye on you, Sunpaw. You're probably one of my favorite cats so far. Bright Shade is wondering if they're good enough. I'm sure you are. Soft spent last night stressing over possible disasters. I wonder if he's getting anxiety now. I... Yeah. He's fierce. I don't imagine that anxiety is like something that he has, but we'll never know. Mochi is trying to remember the taste of the food their two legs used to give him. Probably like those really fancy wet food packets. 
Rain Puddles playing a prank on Acorn Strike, of course. I didn't expect anything less. Clopos E shopping on Green. And Green Plus training very hard. Meanwhile, of course, Eater Hope. I wish she was still alive, too. And Acorn Strike. I mean, J Smoke's just doing his own thing. Do Song and Rodeo, maybe. I want to send Sunpon and Acorn Strike together. Hopefully nothing. Um, well, so hopefully the patrol goes good. As Sunpon pats the Redwood Clan, they feel presence showing them. Sunpon softly alerts the rest of the patrol. Oh. Who was it? Black Rise? Or Cedar Hope? Or Moonclaw, maybe. We'll see. And... Maybe Rodeo and Tucson, so they can have a bit of a chat. The cats search and search until their pop heads are sore and their muscles exhausted. Oh, They got sore. So that didn't go as well, but we tried to see if a friendship could happen. I also forgot to check your romantic relationships. You still have that crush on Nine Pounds and Soft. I can't tell which one she wants to lean. Well, maybe, yeah, light pounds. I'm trying to make it happen, but... It's kind of hard. Dear Death, good ice ball. No. You. Ice ball catches scent of a mouse nearby. Dear Death tells him it might be the perfect opportunity to pick up one of the first bounties New Leaf brings to the forest. An easy kill. They're really getting the hang of hunting, Dear Dust tells them. As the pair head back home, there's a happy bounce in Duke Ice Paw steps. Nice. That's cute. I've never gotten that trouble before. Crow Pawn, Green. And then everyone else can be randomized. The patrol finds a small burrow in the ground with a strange scent. They hesitate on the truth. This is worth checking. I'm not sure. I'm kind of nervous to proceed, but Crowpaw has that troublesome. Inside is a rabbit. Okay. Oh, randomize. Everyone else. Go with soft and... I don't know. Sand breeze. Okay, rain puddle immediately just ruined that catch. Let's send three together. No one... Wanted to do it. And Mochi Shade and Soul Heather have a disagreement. Oh no. Mochi Shade and Lime Pounds have a disagreement. <laughs> okay. Soul Heather took it like a champ. That's nice. But yeah. Hopefully, next month we can see Ice Pond, Krupa, and Green Paw. And hopefully Sunpaw become, well, get their full names next. But yeah, I really want to know what Sunpaw's whole prophecy and making King Akrashite proud thing is coming from. I'm also wondering what Du Song is telling Cloud Swan. Because that, I know I kind of passed over it, but that whole wanting to run away with them thing is so interesting. Really interesting. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see where these prophecy things and Sakura and cat things are coming from. 